Hi, in the next three minutes, I'm gonna tell you how to build your own cloud-based entry and exit logs. As we restart lab research, we've been asked to maintain a log of entry and exits from the lab. This list is mandated by our lab's mitigation plan is important for contact tracing in the event one of our researchers falls ill with COVID-19. So rather than use paper form, a paper form with a chance of contamination, we've chosen to use a cloud-based system. To ensure compliance, the system must be quick and easy to use preferably without complex multi-factor authentication. The logs will be maintained on the cloud and can be deleted after a fixed number of days. So I'm gonna take you through these five steps for creating a Google Sheet, to create a Google Form, to connect the Google Form to the Google Sheet, and then to generate a QR code that allows you to link the Google to the Google Form. Um, at la at the, finally, I'm gonna show you uh, how to make some clear signage and how to post the notice of log entries and exits. You will need a Google account in order to, to make this cloud-based system, um, but you don't need a G Suite, you just need the simple plain form. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to your Google Drive, and we're gonna choose a Google Sheets to open up a blank spreadsheet. That blank spreadsheet, you're gonna title with whatever the name you want for your particular group, and then we're going to go back into the Google Drive and create a Google Forms. This is under the More submenu, um, and then the Google Forms, you're going to create a blank form. Now, when you, when you first enter, you're going to name your form with, in, in this case, I'm calling it the login for the Dream Lab. Um, and then you're going to start with filling out some questions. The first question that I'm going to ask is the name. And so what I'm going to have is a drop-down menu item that's gonna fill in the names of the individuals in my lab so that they can choose. So you enter in each of the names, and then I'm also requiring that whoever enters this form answers this question. The next question I have is whether this is an entry or an exit. This could be a multiple choice, an entry or exit. And this again is also required. I'm going to um, make these particular responses uh, go to a, a, a spreadsheet. So you go back out to your Google Forms, and instead of looking at the questions, you look at the responses. You, you click this uh, icon up in the upper corner, the green icon, and that is create a spreadsheet. I'm gonna use a select an existing spreadsheet, and for that spreadsheet, I'm gonna select the one that I just created. Additionally, so now I go up into my spreadsheet, and I can see that there's an entry for timestamp, which is gonna be when that particular Google form was activated, the name from that dropdown list, and whether this is an entry or an exit. The next thing I want to do is to generate a Google, Q, is generate a QR code that provides a link to the Google form. And so how do you find the proper link to the Google form? You go back into the responses section and check under send. So hit the send button, and that will bring up this dialog box. You wanna pick the link icon here and shorten that link so it's easy just to copy and paste. So I just copied that uh, from the send form and then go to one of the many sites um, for generating a QR code. I entered in that site, this is QR code generator. I entered in that site. Um, that site, that link is automatically, generate, automatically generates a QR code, which I then download um, to my computer. I then take that downloaded code, which is here, and I embed this code within some clear signage. Welcome to the Dream Lab. Log your entry and exit. It's clear it's about the COVID mitigation, and here's the QR code. So if you click on this uh, site, uh, you will find a drop down for the names of the lab members. You'll drop find another multiple choice for entry and exit. So what does this look like when you um, when you've gotten some entries, you go back to your um, go back to your spreadsheet, and you can see that the my lab members have entered. Mustafa, Karen, and Ira entered. Ira left a few hours later. Mustafa left a, a, a half hour after that, and but Karen is still in the lab. So this is a good way to track, and you can then go back and delete the entries in these um, in these spreadsheets at a later time. So the useful thing about this is that iPhone users have a built-in QR detector in their camera, and, but Android users will have to use 
any number of QR reading apps. I've used a Google Lens, but you can use and download something else. So that's it. These are the these are the five steps for making a, a, a um, an entry and exit log for your lab, and I hope it was helpful.